Hello and welcome back to another episode of Automatron series. Automatron is a powerful yet very simple automating tool that can help you automate many different tasks performed on your computer. Let me start by showing you around and tell you about how it works. Let's start from the top left corner where we have the start button. This button starts a sequence. Also, it has an option to stop a sequence once the sequence is running. Then we have a first option in our menu, which is dedicated to save, load and reset. This first option creates a completely new sequence. Then we have an option to open the previously saved one, save the current sequence and exit the program. Then we have a tools menu. The first option brings the log window, which is very useful when you want to debug your sequence and see what's going on. Then we have a sample creator a very useful tool that helps us capturing samples. All you need to do is click on the screen and then highlight a sample that you will want to use later. The last option in this menu is sample debug. I'm not going to show it to you right now, but this is a very useful option when you are using a certain sample in your sequence and you want to find out how many similar samples have been found on the screen or in certain process. Then we have a menu dedicated to license, where you will be able to find your unique user ID, buy a license and verify it once you bought it. The last one is a menu dedicated to knowledge, where you will be able to find the PDF manual, YouTube channel with all the tutorials regarding all the modules, our forum and community, and a section which will give you some details about our program. On the bottom of left section, there is an information about your current version and an icon that will create a reusable sequence or sequences because you can have as many as you want. Reusable sequences are very useful because you can put them into your main chain and reuse them as many times as you want. The gray box in the middle of Automatron is a box representing certain module. In this case, it's a welcome module that has an option to change its label as all the other modules. It has an option to watch a video tutorial about it and two options. Also, as most of the other modules, there is an option to add a next step, detach the rest of the sequence or delete the rest of the sequence. We build sequences by pressing this button, which shows us the list of available modules that we have prepared for you. They have been divided in four sections. Section number one will give you conditions. Conditions usually check for something and they have two separate paths that you will be able to follow. Actions present all the available actions that Automatron can perform for you. Flows or loops, as some may say, will help you to repeat parts of your sequences in a different way. The last section is dedicated to reusable sequences or detached sequences. So you can either choose a reusable sequence or attach previously detached sequence. So this is the list of all available modules for now, but for sure we'll add more later on. To build a sequence, all you need to do is you need to press this button and start building your own unique sequence. You can just choose a module that will appear right after the previous one and keep doing so until you will achieve what you want. So this is how it looks like. I'll keep bringing them and show you how the sequence is going. If I choose condition, condition has a yes path and no path, then I can define what will happen in the yes path. I can go back and also define what will happen in a no path. As you can see, each module has its own YouTube link that will help you to understand how it works and how to use different options of each module. This was an overview of Automatron. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more.